I don't like hockey. I don't care about curling. I don't give a damn about the Winter Olympics. There I said it. Sorry, Canada. But I am a beach boy. I enjoy sunshine, palm trees, and open water. And this is why I made my way to East Coast Park today, renting a paddleboard from Aloha Sea Sports Center, and enjoy a couple hours of absolute nautical bliss. 35 bucks will get you a board, a paddle, and a PFD jacket for one hour. 55 bucks will get you all these things for two hours. That sounds like a deal. If you've never tried stand-up paddleboard before, I'm hoping that this video convinces you to give this a try. It's one of the most accessible and easy nautical sports out there. If you can physically stand on your own two feet, if you know how to swim, and if you are able to handle a shovel, I guarantee you, you can do this. Well, hello there. I am finally doing it. Paddle boarding at East Coast Park. It's been a little over a year since I've been standing on a paddle board or, you know, kneeling, as you can tell, because I don't really want to be standing up with a phone and risking getting into the drink. Bit of a bipolar day, if I'm honest. Like, look at the sun kind of peering through this little hole in the sky. But it's been like that for, for about three hours now. It's like super ominous clouds to the left and to the right, but the sun keeps on shining. Officially, this water here, which is strangely warm, like I thought the Hawaiian waters were pretty warm, but here, man, is it hot. It's like 90 Fahrenheit or something. But I think this is almost the South China Sea, right? We're on the east side of Singapore and uh, to the east of Singapore is the rest of the China Sea. I'm not sure what's in this water. I know crocodiles have been spotted here, although crocs are not generally an open water threat. They kind of hug the coast. And if they, if they are seen in open water is because they're traveling and not necessarily trying to feed. Keep telling yourself that, darling. There's also a bunch of sharks in here. For the most part, they're smaller sharks, right? Mostly rays, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's hammerhead or, you know, more menacing stuff out here. Megalodon. Plus, there are all these fishermen on the jetty over there. So where there are bait, there are predators. So maybe I'm gonna keep moving this way. Cheers. All right, here's how it works. First, you wanna stand up in the middle of the board as much as possible. Feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, and there you go. Now pick up the paddle and plunge it as straight as you can into the water to either side of you. Keep your eyes on the horizon and start pulling yourself forward. Or in other words, shovel backwards. See? Easy. There is obviously more to learn than this, like this guy over here, paddling straight into the wind and against the tide with perfect technique. Goddamn show off. The thing that SUP has over every other nautical sport is perspective. Standing allows you to see much further away, making it easy to spot and avoid obstacles in the water. Floating crap. What is this? Looks like linear, linear. Sorry, what? Looks like linear. What? Like linear, linear. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Linear. Looks like linoleum floor. Sure, why not? I'm realizing that for the couple of you who always kind of comment about my strangely shaped Voldemort nostrils, this is probably the money shot for you. It's a great perspective on my undercarriage. <laughs> bunch of restaurants over there that's the hard limit cannot go any further this way or so I'm told so I won't see I'm obeying the laws here today all right I don't think uh, my two hours are up yet but I don't know 
kind of a small area be paddling in circle not much to see once you get away from the coast i'm told i cannot get any close to these ships because otherwise i might be i don't know identified as a pirate maybe and uh, if movies have told me anything in the last few years is that tom hanks can be on any one of these ships both skiffs carry an armed man or plane i don't think we can make any runway or spacecraft heading to the moon. Houston, we have a problem. Thank God for Mr. Hanks, though. He's everywhere. I don't know why people think that because of the movies, Morgan Freeman should be God. I'm God. Because of one movie? Come on, man. There's about 30 movies that prove that Tom Hanks should be Hollywood God. Look what I have created! Anyway, rambling. I think it's time to head home. And that's it. That's all I have for you today. Just a quick little tease about stand-up paddle boarding. Listen, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. But you do know that if you live in Singapore, it's surrounded by water, right? And if you're not taking advantage of that, then what are you doing? If you are remotely enjoying the beach, come out and try stand-up paddle boarding for one hour. It's easy. It's fun and it is well within your means. And hey, you made it this far, so I suppose you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, give me the old thumbs up. It always helps. Yeah, boy. And if you want to know more about SUP, or if you want me to go on more SUP adventures, please let me know in the comments and I promise you I'll take it into consideration. Matter of fact, I've already scouted a couple potential adventure that you can only do on SUP. So if you're interested, let me know. Maybe I'll fast track those adventures. And if you don't want to miss out on those, why don't you subscribe, man? This will help spread the good word about stand-up paddleboarding, as well as many, many other cool stuff there is to do around Singapore. Take your pick, plenty to go around. All right, cool, I gotta bounce, but before I do, there is one last thing I must do to make this day absolutely perfect. My favorite stall in all of Singapore, Huawei's Chicken Wings. The best damn chicken wings in all the world. Ooh hey, thanks for watching. Catch you down the trail. Bye bye. Linéa, linéa, linoleum. Du tabarnak de prélat, calice.